Hello again, we have uh, two topics to talk about today. We'll talk about antennas and we'll talk about the new Akasom amplifier. Okay, so let's start with antennas. I've been asked how much uh, value should I declare in my minor application, you know. So, uh, first of all, think about antenna like a passive component. And uh, we should care about TX power. This is the most important thing. We don't need or we don't have to pass 15 dB maximum allowed in Europe. The antenna can be a 30 dB one. Doesn't matter. As long as you push 15 in here, it will radiate, it will deliver 15, of course. And imagine a, a bucket, 10 liters, and you have a coffee can or mug <laughs> and you just pour that inside same story doesn't really matter if you have a 10 liter bucket nobody cares you know because the quantity of the liquid is the same but if you try to add a swimming pool in a bucket you know that that's a problem so it's the same story with antennas you have a 30 db one it can handle very nice 5 db it can handle 10 db it can handle of course maximum 30 dBs but we don't have that we are not allowed to have 30 dB so in our case 15 dB is maximum maximum all right so all you have to carry it's about the TX chain when it's a matter of RX the things are a little bit different why because in this case we need as good as possible antenna so if you can afford a 30 dB antenna that will be marvelous because if you consider antenna gain plus amplifier gain which uh, amplifier which is obviously a uh, active element finally if it's too much we got invalids and then we have to take something off from this equation and uh, of course the antenna should stay as high as possible the amplifier is the one who's dealing with the level of Rx in our case. Why? Because the amplifier being an active uh, part of the chain, it's also introducing noise. And S and R, it's very important, signal to noise ratio. This is very, very important. How can we get that with a good antenna, good reception, directly from the antenna and a low noise amplifier so that is for tx we really don't care about the value of uh, declared antenna in the application when we are thinking about rx you are free to do anything you like for rx doesn't matter nobody cares the problem is with tx okay so what we can do let's say we have a chain like this this is the minor okay then let's say we have an amplifier and then we have a filter and then we have the line and finally we have the antenna okay let's have a typical antenna like i have it's a rack 8 db okay so if we start with 15 db from the minor then we have an amplifier with uh, let's say 6 db plus then we have a filter which will take let's say minus 2.5 db finally we're gonna have of course the losing on the cable let's say 1 db so we're gonna have finally 15 plus 6 21 minus 3.5 it's like uh, 18.5 db applied to the 8 db antenna okay you'll think it's uh, a lot do you think it's high we don't care about that as long as we don't pass 15 db everything is fine and in this situation how can we do to have this 18.5 lower you know to get 15 db on the antenna even if it's 8 db of course it can handle no problem 
So we go to the application and consider that if you declare a 15 dB antenna, then the miner will pass 1 dB power. If you declare 1 dB antenna, then the miner will pass 15 dB TX power. If you declare a 8 dB antenna, then the miner will do 7 dB TX power. You understand that? But 7 dB it's not enough because we have a 7 plus 6, 13 minus uh, 2.5, that, uh, that's uh, 10.5 and minus 1, it's 9 dB finally to antenna. Not good. So, I think a declared 3 dB antenna it forced the miner to send 12 dB of power. So we have a Let's do the math again. 12 plus 6, okay, that's 18, minus 2.5, okay, let's say 3.5 with the cable connectors and so on. So we have almost the number, 14.5. We can declare even 2 dBs, so now uh, the miner is sending 13 dBs. Okay, don't think about declaring the the strictly value of the antenna. Think about all this chain and you have the final uh, value here. My opinion around 3.53 3 declared it will be good enough to cover all the losings and to stay in the legal limits of the TX power. Okay? I think it's clear. Something else to say about RX when I was talking about the noise ratio well i'm a musician so i have a similitude somehow you know microphones amplifiers and everything is you know on the stage is very important for a good sound for a good vocals and so on so you may have the best loudspeakers in the world you may have the best sound engineers you may you may have everything you want you know compressors and whatever effects and so on but if you don't start with a good microphone, you know, the basic, the good microphone. If you don't start with a good microphone, you'll never have a good sound. The microphone in our case is the same story with antenna. So for Eric's, the most important thing is to have a good antenna with a good gain. And uh, of course, you may say the antenna has got a noise, no, because it's a passive component, of course. But if it have a good reception signal, then it covers the amplifier uh, noise and, uh, you know, you don't need too much amplification. You don't need to add too much amplification, you know. That was the first topic. Now, let's talk about uh, the new amplifier from Akasom, okay? Uh, and Sorin from Krypton uh, Mining Channel. He present that uh, yesterday and I was so surprised and look here people look what we got here up there that's a regulator that's a classic regulator like I did when I was uh, modified the Akasom first generation amplifier or first model let's say that's the guy turning down from 12 volts to 5. All right. Of course, you, we have a chip, a specialized chip for amplifying here. But look again, this is this is the same guy like I did in my uh, mod. All right. And now we should have some numbers. That on uh, it's uh, supplying power for this uh, circuit here from 3 to 5 volts. And now I ask you why they choose to have a regulator like this or like that and why they use that uh, DC to DC converter in the first model. And there is only one answer, noise. And if we go back here and you see my, uh, my presentation, 
You see, this is the back converter. It's taking 12 volts from the input. And so I, what I have done, I, I got rid of this and I went finally to the same solution like they implemented. Okay, I use this uh, 7805 circuit, the small one. Where is that small one? And look here. You see exactly what they have been done with the latest uh, amplifier model. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that DC to DC converter have something to say about Akasom first generation noise problem. Okay, that's it for today. I hope, you know, it, it clears some things. And uh, of course, if you have questions, don't hesitate, write them down. I'll do the best to answer. Once again, you know, I'm not a specialist. I'm just a hobbyist, but I'm reading a lot and I'm trying to understand how the things are working. And by the way, I said that before, don't take it for real. I mean, not everybody on the internet, you know, it's the guru of uh, something, you know. Um, so don't take it literally, you know, everything what everybody said. You have to search yourself and you have to find your own answers. And that's why the internet is, you know, ask and uh, you'll get the answers, you know. Try to find the answer by yourself. This is the story, okay? If you like this, please push the like button. Please subscribe. I got, uh, oh, maybe I need, I need five more subscribers or six or something and I'm reaching 4,000 guys. Thank you for that. Like, subscribe and don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.